Welcome. My name is Natasha Sherman and I am your host. And today's show is about breath work. Not only will we be talking about it, but we will actually be filming a group breathwork workshop being hosted by Ted Riskin and Jane Martin. So Ted, thank you for having us here. Sure. sure. Thank you for coming. So maybe you can start out by telling us what breathwork is and why you do this. Okay. Well, breathwork can mean a lot of different things. Uh, we're using it to mean a process where we'll have people breathe faster and deeper and that allows people to access a, a non-ordinary state of consciousness. And once that's happening, all kinds of things open up. So we wouldn't, I wouldn't just go home and, and hear this and go, oh, let me just do some weird breathing and, uh, uh, you know, induce a non-ordinary state of consciousness. People come to these workshops for a particular reason and also you have a particular training and a context in which you work. So maybe you could tell us about that. Well, there are a lot of schools of breath work, a lot of modalities. They are similar in terms of the kinds of experiences people have, but their models could be different, their philosophies, uh, the theory behind it. So I'm trained in holotropic breath work, which um, to me is like the queen of all breath works it's a, it's a very big container it's a, when we do sessions they are two and a half to three hour sessions so you're talking about a particular guided kind of activity for a particular reason it's mostly about providing a strong container a safe place so people can let go of their normal need to control their normal need to limit their experience so they can control it and open up the possibility to feel and sense all kinds of things that normally we don't. It always helps me to get in touch with some emo strong emotions that I usually don't have access to on a day-to-day -day basis. Kind of the breathing and the music unblocks a lot of things that may be going on in my life that I may not be aware of. We've all learned to shut ourselves down in a way so that we can function. Uh, when we're small and powerless, we learn to breathe less, to feel less. Um, so we can kind of limit our experience to a sphere that we feel we can be in control of. But that cuts us off from all of the magic in life, all that really makes life worth living, I think. Um, the transcendent. So by removing those veils, we get access to the transcendent. That was a really, really awesome experience. Just felt like, like life is love. I'm here to experience joy and and incredible joy, and and that's what my life is. That's what I want it to be about. I just was overwhelmed by feeling incredibly loved, incredibly loved. So when I hear you talk, it's not necessarily that someone's coming because they're trying to fix something. It could simply be that there is some level where people aren't experiencing their own lives and themselves uh, in a, a fully expressed way or that they're kind of living somewhat on mute and maybe it's the pressing the unmute button. Is that sort of what it's like? I, I think you're talking about is this more psychological or spiritual and it's both, and, and in doing this work, you see that it's, there's not much of a difference, really. Uh, so when you open up access to deeper levels of experience, healing tends to happen, and it can be physical healing, it can be psychological healing, it can be the very things that people go to therapy for. I think there's an inherent tendency uh, for people to want to heal trauma. I think unconsciously, we want to fix the past. We want to do it over again and get it right this time. Uh, so in a breathwork session, this is one of the things that might happen. Some, some old kind of trauma may come up, and we're empowered. We're here by choice. We have support. Uh, it's a safe setting, and we can stay present with the feelings that are happening, express maybe something that we couldn't express when it originally happened, um, release the blocked emotions that we've been carrying around and 
uh, a very deep healing can happen, which might be something that you would do in 20 therapy sessions, you know, but mm -hmm. it can happen very directly. Just to be able to re release that amount of rage was uh, very liberating. I'm lighter, I can breathe better. The, the inability of my mother and, and these other women that I picked out to not be able to give me the nurturance that I, that I wanted. I mean, I, I just had some real deep sense of that that kind of made it okay. Um, and it wasn't understanding why or how or anything like that. It was just like, once I felt it, I could say, oh, okay. Um, and that, so that, that is like, that's really, really um, just, it just gave me such a wonderful, peaceful feeling. So uh, I'm assuming that you yourself have done breath work. And uh, I guess my question would be is, what has it provided for you? And can you remember any one particular uh, breath work session where you had some kind of major life altering experience? There's a part of me in life that doesn't want to be here, that doesn't want to be present, that doesn't want to fully participate. And in my last session, I could f feel, it's like reliving the birth itself where I made that decision. I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to be here. I wanted to stay in that spiritual place. And in some way, my whole life, I've been sort of having one foot in each world. And I, I've felt a shift since then. Could you describe it? I feel more here and less afraid of things that I generally was afraid of, um, more willing to just feel pleasure in my body and let go of the belief that uh, it's painful to be in a body. Um, yeah, more willing to, to connect with people. It might sound silly to, to say these things, but on some level, I think, certainly me, and I think a lot of people, we have a fear of connecting with people, what might happen there. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's practical. I absolutely agree. You know, I'm a life coach, so it's, I, I can see that a, a lot. I see that a lot, uh, the, the fear of engagement. So tell me, Jane, can you use breath work with people with severe personality disorders? Mostly, um, in my research, I haven't found very much around the world that's going on with this. So this is a new thing. I have been doing it, um, and it's been enormously effective. Uh, what kind of results do you have, or have you had so far? Um, I guess last week, um, I was working with a guy I lovingly call Big Huge Jail Dude, and he describes himself as being rage in a cage. And there's this tension and he's just all the time. And so I, you know, all the talking and the drugs aren't working. So and he did some breathing and he told me that um, after doing that, he feels good for four days. And after a while, he began to trust me and we could go deeper. And he was able to go underneath that anger into the hurt, the tears that were the source of that anger in breathwork, he's able to really feel and contact his childhood self. So his own current self's loving his child self. And there's so much healing around that. That's amazing. That's truly amazing. The breathwork kind of bypasses some of the issues and gets to the core of it, I gather, much easier. Yeah, because for him, it was so much on a body level. I'm raging a cage. It's just what he's feeling. And he needed to go and get it out. And so he could go underneath it and, and into the, I think the rage, the anger is sort of a way of not having to feel that deep hurt. What populations do you most love to work with and th that you find it most effective or rewarding? I guess I feel really honored to be able to work with people who are on a very higher level of consciousness who are healed and are working on transcendence. So I'm helping them to be able to help other people and that really thrills me. I think it's really extraordinary and exciting because um, for so long uh, the different professions have been kind of very insular and not doing crosstalk, you know, and when there's so much to pull from, especially now, that how great that you could go to a physician who could talk about breath work.
Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yes, I, I actually have a bit of a network, so I do get clients from doctors who uh, can't figure out where this malady is coming from and realize that it has a uh, psychological basis to it. And do people actually get healed of physical ailments through breathwork? I'm thinking of this one beautiful story of a woman who came, it was a group like what happened today, and she said that she hadn't been able to got, get pregnant for seven years, and she wanted to heal that. So she, um, during the workshop, she re went into a past life, what, what she explained as a past life, and I could see that she was giving birth, she was doing all the movements of what a woman would do to give birth, and then all of a sudden, I was expecting her to, right, with the baby, and she didn't. So later I said, you know, I, I I'm really, must have been really off because I thought you were giving birth. And all of a sudden she remembered, and she says, why did they have to take my baby? Her face was just like huge, and I knew he wasn't safe with me. And when she said that sentence, it just really clicked with me. And I said to her, if you bring that belief with you into this lifetime that a baby isn't safe with you that can very much affect whether you can get pregnant or not. Two weeks later she was pregnant.